Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. On September 7th, President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, made a phone call to President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The head of our state said he was deeply saddened to hear the news of fatalities and casualties of numerous Turkish soldiers as a result of the terror act committed in Dalija region of Hakkari province in Turkey. He offered his condolences to the President of Turkey and family members and close ones of those who died. Stressing that Azerbaijan resolutely condemned this horrendous act of terror, President Ilham Aliyev added that Azerbaijani people were always by the side of friendly and brotherly people of Turkey. President of the Republic of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, expressed his gratitude for the attention and offered condolences. The heads of state exchanged views on different aspects of bilateral relations. On September 7th, President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, issued a letter of condolences to President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The letter states, I was deeply saddened to hear the news of fatalities and casualties of numerous Turkish soldiers as a result of the terror committed in Dalija region of Hakkari province of Turkey. I extend my condolences to you, family members, and close ones of those who died, and to the Bravala people of Turkey on my own and Azerbaijan's people behalf, and wish the speedy recovery on those who were wounded and injured. Rest in peace. President Ilham Aliyev. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, received Secretary General of the World Customs Organization, Kunya Mikuria. In the course of the meeting with Secretary General of the World Customs Organization, Kunya Mikuria, President Ilham Aliyev said Azerbaijan and the World Customs Organization maintained successful cooperation and noted that a number of practical steps have been made in the country to modernize the customs system. Emphasizing the importance of the customs service in terms of economy and security, the head of state said what reforms have been conducted in Azerbaijan to ease customs procedures. President Ilham Aliyev said Azerbaijan has hosted a number of events addressing customs service, underlining the significance of the fact that the World Customs Organization 10th PICART conference will be held in Baku. Secretary General of the World Customs Organization Kunia Mikuria said the volume of global customs transportation is increasing, adding it is important to increase professionalism in this area. He said international transportation management issues are of profound importance in many countries, expressing confidence that the World's Custom Organization 10th PICART conference in Baku will contribute to the efforts to address these issues. Kunia Mikuria thanked the head of state for supporting the customs service. He said that the World Customs Organization had its regional training center in Baku, adding the new regional Sinology training center will open in the Azerbaijani capital. The site discussed prospects for cooperation between Azerbaijan and the World's Customs Organization. On September 7th, President Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces Ilham Aliyev reviewed a newly constructed second-degree border guard ship at the shipyard and repair center of the Coast Guard of the State Border Service. President Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces Ilham Aliyev arrived at the shipyard and repair center of the Coast Guard of the State Border Service. Chief of the State Border Service, Command of the Border Troops, Colonel General Lechinguliev, reported to the President. Muhtaram President, Cenab Ali Başkomandan, yeni iş olunmuş gemiler başta hazırdır. Hoş gelmişsiniz Cenab Ali Başkomandan. Hoş geldiniz Cenab Ali. General Sasadigo. Sağ ol. 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 Sağ ol. General Sasadigo. Sağ ol. General Sasadigo. Sağ ol. General Sasadigo. Sağ ol. General Sasadigo. Sağ ol. Successful implementation of the state program on the technical development of the state border security system of the Republic of Azerbaijan, approved under the executive order signed by President Ilham Aliyev in 2005, was especially important in terms of organizing effective security of our sea borders. A new base of the Coast Guard of the State Border Service was built in Turkan settlement of Baku as part of the program and opened in 2008 with the participation of the Supreme Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Ilham Aliyev. According to the Maritime Security Strategy of the Republic of Azerbaijan, approved under the executive order signed by the head of state in 2013, necessary measures are underway to strengthen forces and means for fulfilling the tasks entrusted to the state border service, as well as for preventing possible threats to the state border security in the Caspian Sea. In 2014, Supreme Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Ilham Aliyev, opened the shipyard. In line with the maritime security strategy of the Republic of Azerbaijan, the State Border Service is perfectly secure in offshore oil and gas infrastructure. President Ilham Aliyev was informed about the newly constructed second-degree border guard ship. Biggest second-degree border guard ships are being constructed in the shipyard. 
The ship has been fitted with state-of-the-art navigation, communication equipment and weapons, including missiles, an anti-missile complex, night vision surveillance system, hydroacoustic device. The lens of the Bodegard ship capable of fulfilling service tasks in hard sailing conditions in the Caspian Sea and fitted with high-speed boat is 62 meters. A helicopter may land on board of the ship, which will be widely used to secure state borders, ensure border regime, safety of the production and transportation of hydrocarbon reserves. Coast Guard of the State Border Service, which owns state-of-the-art communication and navigation equipment, border guard ships and boats are capable of ensuring security of the state border in all weather conditions. Strengthening logistics of the Coast Guard, improving the level of professionalism of sailors have a positive influence on the outcomes of the service combat activity. It has already become a tradition at the State Border Service to hold combat and tactical trainings aiming to improve combat readiness of the personnel and their professional skills in extreme conditions. Six high-speed and third-degree border guard vessels fitted with state-of-the-art navigation, communication and weapons have been constructed by the plant since its establishment and successful results have been achieved in Azerbaijan's border security in the Caspian Sea. Formation and development of service combat activity of Azerbaijan's border security is associated with the name of the nationwide leader Haydar Aliyev. And thanks to the attention of President Ilham Aliyev, this service has stepped into a new stage. Coast Guard of the State Border Service was established under the decree issued by the Head of State in 2005. This opened wider opportunities to perfectly ensure our state interests in the Caspian Sea and secure the sea borders efficiently. Using international practice on organizing maritime border security, the State Border Service has done important work to build effective border security system in the Caspian Sea. The State Border Service has implemented significant projects in the Caspian Sea to fight against international terrorism, illegal migration and smuggling, improve combat readiness, strength and discipline. Improvement of housing and working conditions of the service staff and construction of new administrative and residential buildings have had a very positive impact on the activity of the State Border Service. The knowledge and practice gained by the staff of the Coast Guard of the State Border Service is skillfully applied in the protection of the state border. The crew successfully fulfilled the task set for securing state border in hard conditions of the Caspian Sea. To justify the confidence of the Supreme Commander in Chief Ilham Aliyev, Azerbaijani border guards are always ready to protect the interests of our state at sea and ensure inviolability of our borders. On September 7th, President Ilham Aliyev reviewed secondary school number 283 in Binagada district of Baku after major overhaul and reconstruction. President Ilham Aliyev came to review secondary school number 283 in Binagada district of Baku after major overhaul and reconstruction. Baku Mayor Haji Balav Talubov informed the head of state about the work done. Secondary school number 283 was opened in 1988. The school covers an area of 24,000 square meters. The school building consists of three-story building, two two-story buildings and three one-story passages. 6,500 square meter area has been overhauled. The reconstruction has been done on the highest level. The photo stands in the lobby featuring the nationwide leader Heydar Aliyev's care for education and the work done by President Ilham Aliyev for the reconstruction of educational institutions in Binagada district in line with modern standards. The school was overhauled in 2006. Major overhaul of the school was started on June 1st of 2015 in line with the state program on socio-economic development of Baku and its settlements for 2014-2016. Communication, power, water supply, sewage, heating lines have been renewed. The school has 69 rooms with 62 of them classrooms. It's one shift school. 1,200 pupils are studying here at the Azerbaijan and Russian sections. They are taught by 160 teachers. Of 64 pupils who finished school at 2014-2015 academic year, 47 were admitted to universities. Seven of them gained more than 600 points. The school's gym is also modern. Two football pitches and a volleyball court will be open here. Reconstruction of educational institutions, construction of new school buildings and kindergartens offer wide opportunities to improve the education system. A magazine dedicated to Azerbaijan was published in the United Arab Emirates. The magazine features the articles on economic development history and culture of Azerbaijan. The publication casts light on Azerbaijan's expanding cooperation with the United Arab Emirates in all spheres, including trade sphere and outlines that Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry opened its first representative office in Baku. 
The magazine further informs about official visit of Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, to Azerbaijan. His meeting with President Ilham Aliyev further outlines that the visit created good conditions for establishment of high-level relations between the two countries. It's pointed out that the number of Azerbaijani companies operating in the United Arab Emirates increased by 49% and reached 260. Back with 2015 First European Games, it's broadcasting to more than 93 countries the queries about Azerbaijan of 33 million people on social networks in 2014 are also mentioned in the articles. Information on historic monuments, Shirvan Shah's palace and Bibehebant Mosque, the work of modern architecture, Flame Towers and the Hader Relief Center is also incorporated in the articles. Editor-in-chief of the publication, Edouan Mago, underlined that Azerbaijan cuisine, which is distinguished with its history and uniqueness, preserves its culinary traditions and includes the samples of modern world cuisine. The articles of the magazine were published as three articles in Gulf News newspaper. Synological Center of the State Customs Committee will operate as World Customs Organization Regional Synological Center. A memorandum of understanding on the issue was signed between State Customs Committee and World Customs Organization. In addition, Picard Conference of the organization will take place in Baku from September 8th to 10th. The participants of the 10th World Customs Organization Annual Picard Cooperation Program in the field of academic research and development program in Customs Sphere Conference arrived at the Alley of Honor, commemorated nationwide leader Hader Aliyev, and laid wreath at his grave. Prominent ophthalmologist, academician Zarif Aliyeva was also commemorated. Afterwards, the participants of the conference was the graves of her heroic sons and daughters at the Alley of Mardis laid the wreath at the Eternal Flame Monument. Addressing the meeting, the chairman of the state's custom committee, Aydin Aliyev, stated that 241 delegates from 53 countries, including Azerbaijan, 21 international and regional organizations, three Nobel laureates, will partake at the meeting. Secretary General of World Customs Organization, Kunio Mikuria, highly assessed the measures taken in Azerbaijan to modernize the customs sphere and increase the professionalism of human resources. Afterwards, a memorandum of understanding on the issue was signed between State Customs Committee and the World Customs Organization. Following the meeting, the opening ceremony of World Customs Organization Regional Synological Center took place. Chairman of the State Customs Committee, Aydan Aliyev, said that Synological Center has been operating since 2008. The center was given the status of Regional Training Center by World Customs Organization. During the event, two trained dogs were presented to Gabon Republic. Secretary General of the World Customs Organization, Kunio Mikuria, in his turn attached great importance to the center in terms of border protection and security. According to the signed memorandum, the center has an international status. Afterwards, the customs service teams of World Customs Organization member states were reviewed. Besides, the fifth competition among synological bodies of CIS member states was declared as started. The opening ceremony of Azerbaijan Corner was jointly organized in Jewish Alsatian Museum in Boxwiller, Alsat region of France by the Heider Ali Foundation and Valiski Association of France. First Mayor of Boxwiller, Alsace region of France, Alain Jalouz, and the Director of Valiski Association, Andrew Kosmicki, reviewed the corner. The author presents his exhibits that were created following his visit to Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, which already gained an image of tolerant country, shares its experience with other countries using every opportunity, which is highly appreciated at the international stage. Alsace, the region of France, is considered as one of the multinational regions. During the event attended by leaders of religious communities, chairman of the state committee for work with religious organizations of Azerbaijan, Mubariz Grubanlı, delivered a speech. He stated that tolerance is a value that Azerbaijan people sustained today. The chairman said that the Azerbaijan state, President Ilham Aliyev, always displayed a sensitive attitude to religious communities in the country and always showed support, care and attention to them. He attached great importance to the Hader Aliyev Foundation in terms of advocacy of Azerbaijan and these values in the entire world, including France. Mayor of Brooksville, Alsace region of France, Alain Jalous, underlined that Azerbaijan's achievements in tolerance are exemplary. The leaders of religious communities of Azerbaijan also addressed the event. They outlined that modern and secular Azerbaijan always paid a great attention and care to them. They pointed out the significant steps that President Ilham Aliyev had taken for protection of multiculturalism values. 
That was all for the day. Thanks for being with us. Goodbye.